Hi guys, welcome to Indrood Coordination and today we'll be solving Chef and Meetings Challenge which is part of February Long Challenge by Code Chef. So I'm sure you guys would have uh, read the problem statement but I'll read it again for sure. So the problem sta uh, states that a time is given in the input format of HH, MM and AM or PM where HH and MM are always two digit numbers. This is an important keyword. And a day starts at 2, 12 a.m. and ends at 11.59 p.m. So this is our basic uh, 12 hour clock format. If you want any further clarifications on this, you can click on the link they have provided us with. So is my uh, problem statement kya hai Problem statement hai, a chef has, a sh has scheduled a meeting with his friends at time P. He has N friends numbered 1 to N. For each valid I, the Ith friend is available from a time Li to Ri. Which, is both, which are both inclusive. For each friend, we have to help the chef find out if the friend will be able to attend the meeting. More formally, we have to check if P is greater than or equal to Li and is less than or equal to Ri for each valid I. So basically, we have to check for the condition Li is less than or equal to P, less than or equal to Ri, where, where P is the meeting time which the chef has to do P is the meeting time and Li and Ri Li comma Ri is the available timings for the ith person available time for the ith person so uh, the basic approach for this attending the meeting so as you can see here in the example input for a uh, number of test cases is 2 second yeah the number of test cases is 2 is t and this is p the time at which the chef has scheduled the meeting this is n uh, which is the number of friends the chef has and these are the li and ri values for this test case so li and ri values for each ith ith friend of his so now that we have gone through that i'll be telling you a basic approach uh, through which you will be solving this question so the basic idea is uh, to create two functions first function one so function one will be taking an input parameter of string string which will be none other than our uh, the given input time for example 12.05 a.m. or something like that. So now this function will be taking an input string of uh, this type and it will be returning a boolean, uh, sorry, a double value. Now the double value will be of this sort. Like for example, if the input string is 12.05 a.m., the double value will be 0 0.05. And if the input string is of uh, something like 0.2, 09 pm so the double value will be 14.09 so this will be our first function which will take an input value uh, which will take an input parameter of string this is the input uh, time given to us and the second function it will be taking three double values function two it will be taking three double values the first is li which we would have converted into a double using this function Similarly, the second value, second parameter, the ri double, which will also be a double, and p, which will also be a double. So p is our meeting time at which the chef has scheduled the meeting. So this function, it will be checking our uh, the main question, the main constraint that uh, they have given the question, which is that a p should be less than or equal to ri d and greater than or equal to lid now if this condition is true this function will return boolean true if this condition is false this function will obviously return false so our first function will return a double value so this will be of the form double second function will be of the form bool which is boolean so now I hope you have gotten the cross idea on how to solve this kind of question. Also, I'd like to mention 
uh, one last key point which is if you observe the for the ith value for each friend of his the input value so is this whole complete string now the basic brute force approach will be using c in str input this line for example but no if you uh, if you see in str it will only the str value will only grab 1200 in this test case why because this is pain if, if you observe this is space between 1200 and am now this space is not recognized by the c in function to overcome this we can use a get line get line function uh, which obviously can google but what the get line function will be doing is it will be taking the whole input line as one complete string so and after doing so you can use the substring function to separate these input values li and ri um, and after that you can obviously use these two functions which i told you about to solve the question so i hope you like this video and please do subscribe subscribe sorry and uh, yep that's it happy coding guys